You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. I've got your weekly spoilers for Monday, August 5th through Friday, August 9th. We're going to see Xander and Sarah finally get hitched. And looks like Stefan Demera may be caught. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I'd love it if you'd reach down and smash that subscribe button if you're not already following us. And now let's jump right into the action coming next week on Monday, August 5th, 2024, which is season 59, episode 246. So we are going to have some bonding between Teresa Donovan's two most recent exes. Alex Kiriakis and Brady Black have a very insightful insightful conversation, doing some bro bonding over two men, both tricked by the same woman, aka Teresa Donovan. Chad Demera and Jack Devereaux rescue somebody. This starts on Monday. It's going to carry over in, I mean, it starts on Friday and carries over into Monday where they are over in Poplar Bluff, which is Clyde Weston's hometown. They have found the building where that woman was being held, the woman whose face they can't see, the maybe Abby woman. They kick in the door and rescue someone, someone with a familiar face. That is pretty exciting. Kayla Brady comforts Stephanie, who is absolutely distraught that Everett has died of a drug overdose. There's a lot fishy about that death scene. However, Connie did a pretty good job of setting it up. So while Jada is wondering how it all came together so neatly, it sounds like there's a way to rationalize it and see it the way that Connie presented it. Plus, Marlena is worried about what John Black is up to while he's been gone to Greece. Tuesday, August 6, 2024, season 59, episode 247. Gabby is ranting while Stefan is letting her vent. He confessed to two kisses, but he did not come clean about sleeping with Ava. So that maybe this is something about work or about her interesting assistant, uh, Connie. And we've got a crazy Connie spoiler for Tuesday as well. She is plotting revenge over Lee Shin's death. Even though she's the killer, she wants revenge on Stefan and Gabby for them tormenting him and, you know, blackmailing him into signing over his shares. So even though she killed him, she thinks they should pay. She really is really nutty. And Stephanie is back to living across the hall from Alex again. Looks like he has moved into his old apartment. Of course, she's very upset that Everett is dead, but that also means she's completely single and unencumbered. She and Alex are both going to be very sad because they've just lost people, but maybe they will comfort each other. Paulina grills new commissioner Jada about who stabbed Ray Fernandez. And I wonder if she's going to tell her the evidence is all right there, but it seems a little too neat. Wednesday, August 7th, 2024 is episode 248 of the current season. Abe Carver and Kate Roberts have a job offer for Leo Stark. I'm guessing it's going to be the head writer of body and soul. Meanwhile, Sarah and Xander get a wedding redo. They finally get to have their second nuptials. The last one didn't stick because of that whole messy, you know, kidnapping thing. He's done more than one kidnapping, let's be fair. But Xander is on the straight and narrow and Sarah loves him. And I'm guessing we're going to see a wedding at the mansion. Plus, Speaking of the mansion where Bonnie Kiriakis lives, she gets together with her old prison pal, Hattie Adams. And I just wonder if we're going to have some mayhem and chaos or if they're going to be well-behaved ladies now that they are both out of prison on the up and up and trying to live on the right side of the law. Plus, Fiona and Brady agree that they have to keep it a secret that they have been having nearly nightly booze hound festivals. I don't know if they're going to end up doing the deed, but Fiona really wants Xander to believe that she's on the wagon. Brady wants his family to believe that. So it's mutually assured destruction. Hopefully they can both keep it zipped. Thursday, August 8th, 2024 is season 59, episode 249. 
Brady is going to be absolutely gobsmacked when he sees his son Tate Black is back in town. The last time we saw the kid talking to one of his parents, it was when Teresa was arrested and she spoke to Tate on the phone and he's absolutely disgusted by what she did. And I just wonder why he decides to leave the Horton cabin and leave Smith Island and come back to Salem. Maybe he wants to say goodbye to his mother before she leaves town. I'm convinced that Teresa is going to be leaving soon. Her brother, Andrew Donovan, remains in town, though, on Thursday, and he is giving advice to his boyfriend, Paul Narita. And of course, Paul is sticking around to try and comfort his stepmother, Marlena, who's very upset about John and what he might be doing because he's been gone for quite a while. So on Monday, Jack and Chad rescue somebody, starts on Friday, carries over to Monday. And then later in the week, by Thursday, Jack and Chad Chad are talking when they notice there is a woman eavesdropping on them. I wonder how this is all tied into whatever Clyde is doing. And if we're going to find out soon, if Marin, who's played by Anna Lynn McCord, really is Abby or just a doppelganger or what. I feel like they've teased us long enough because we still haven't even really seen her face fully on screen at this point. Meanwhile, Sophia is still pushing Holly and blackmailing her, even though her mom, Nicole Walker, left town and Holly really doesn't have to cave to the blackmail. But I'm guessing Sophia may threaten to tell Maggie, her grandma that she's living with, if she doesn't keep on doing what she wants her to do. Sophia, I understand that she's got her feelings hurt, but she's being pretty vindictive. Friday, August 9th, 2024 is episode 250 of season 59. And Jada talks to Paulina and tells her how guilty she feels about Everett's death and everything that went down. So the working theory from them is that Bobby typed up the suicide note. Bobby took all this Oxycontin, which is what it sounds like. I think they were saying it was a bottle of Oxy. And then as he was dying, Everett got control back of his brain. That's the theory. And that's why it was Everett that died in Stephanie's arm arms while it was Bobby that wrote the suicide note and told her he wanted her to know who killed Lee. And, you know, I'm assuming they're going to blame the Rafe thing on him as well. But it again, it's just been all tied up too neatly with a bow. Meanwhile, Stefan is eaten up by guilt. He considers coming clean to Gabby because right now, Stefan is on the cusp of being caught and he doesn't even know it because Kristen and Ava were talking and Connie overheard it. And she has vowed to destroy Gabby and Stefan, but she wants to hang on to that tidbit until it's the perfect time to drop the bombshell. So if Stefan's smart, he'll come clean before he's caught. Meanwhile, Alex tries to move past all his hurt and anger at Teresa. Stephanie is there to help him. Hopefully he is a shoulder for her to cry on because she is grieving. Meanwhile, Johnny and Chanel run into Connie, and it is very, very uncomfortable. That should be interesting to see. A lot of people I've seen are saying they're glad that Bobby Everett is dead and that Blake Barris's run is done. A lot of people are saying they can't wait till Connie is done. We'll see. And I did hear another interesting tidbit that Ron Carlovati had brought in Blake Barris to play this new character. And he had an idea of where he wanted this story to go. But then during the writer's strike, bear in mind, they're like eight months ahead. So we're still, we were still seeing some replacement writer stuff and, or we were at one point and they took Everett into a direction that Ron didn't want him to go to. And when he got back and he was the one who was writing things. And of course this is, you know, eight months back when he got back into the driver's seat in the writer's room, he didn't see how to salvage what they had done to the storyline. And we've heard that he just decided to go ahead and kill him off. 
So it is a very quick and unceremonious end to him. Those are all of the weekly spoilers I have for Days of Our Lives. Please drop your comments, subscribe if you're not following us already, and definitely come back soon. We're here talking Days of Our Lives seven days a week. And as always, it's me, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>